This is my review of Dr. Stone, Chapter 112, King of Three Dimensions, a.k.a. a drone. Anyway, we start off with Koaku all excited about getting into the uh, harem and passing through security and everything, and saying, tonight, we'll steal the secret to petrification, and, uh, I gotta admit, I thought it would take them a little bit longer than that, but, hey, what the heck. I mean, it's not like, you know, they're gonna be able to pass as concubines for too long. God damn, I can already see uh, the master trying to take in Koaku and her just being the living crap out of him. Don't think it'd go much better with Jinro. And uh, Amaryllis, I'm sure she's got some kind of poison or something up her sleeve she's planning on using to knock him out. Oh, speaking of which, Amaryllis is just absolutely terrified, stunned, amazed by uh, Koaku's earring and how it allows her to hear from far distances away. That... Might end up biting him in the back. I could certainly see someone trying to steal her earring and then being like, wait a minute. I'm hearing voices. Uh, that'd be interesting, to say the least. So then we get the basic blueprints for the drone. And uh, fairly simple, I must say. They're going to use iron and wire to make a magnet. They're going to use the magnet and bamboo to make a motor. They're going to use bamboo, bird feathers, and plastic to make the propeller. And they're going to use the plastic to make a controller. All fairly simple. I do question how effective bird feathers are going to be. I'm guessing that's more of a camouflage thing. Though I could be wrong about that. Anyway, then we get a little science lesson on how to uh, make a motor, which... Yeah, I'm not going to lie. I don't understand about 90% of that, so I'm not going to bother trying to explain it again. But essentially, the next step is hours and hours of backbreaking labor... Wrapping those wires a few thousand times, which, yeah, that reminds me of, you know, when they first made the gold wiring way back when, and they had to have the entire village work together to wrap it properly. That was, that was pretty funny. So, now we have finally seen the enemy stronghold, and it's, it's, it's fairly impressive, I must say. I'm a little concerned for the, uh, engineering behind it. I haven't really seen anyone here who I'd, you know, call all that smart, and yet... Some of these trees, some of these buildings are really hanging pretty far off. I mean, I really don't think I could, you know, sleep soundly in a house like that that's literally hanging over the edge of a tree branch. That being said, it's clear the artist went through a great deal of effort to show all the support beams and show that it is at least theoretically sound, so I'm going to assume they know something about it. We also get our uh, first shot of the master, though he's just an outline. And he looks like this big, tough, strong man, but I have a feeling when we see him, he's going to be like either a six-year-old child who the royal advisor is controlling, or just an absolute moron. Or, other way entirely, he's someone who thinks he's doing good, someone who thinks he's making the people happy and healthy and whole, and doesn't realize, oh... I'm the bad guy here. We then meet another problem. Orishi, who is somehow bigger and stronger than Magma and stupider. I mean, this guy's muscles are really, you know, next level. He's a freaking beast. Seriously, even with, you know, all the best protein powders and exercise routines today, it would not be easy reaching that level of uh, buff. Oh, he's also an ass, because he uh, murdered a man, well, he turned him stone, then cr destroyed him, for trying to sneak into the harem to free his daughter, which... Yeah, don't think he's going to end up turning around to be a good guy at any point soon. Then Koaku sees something. I'm not entirely sure what it is, but she's clearly shocked by it. And she asks somewhere else to buy her 15 seconds so she can go check it out. She uh, even comments, I've never been more grateful for my keen eyesight and knowledge from the kingdom of science. Then announced that she found it. She found the key to securing the victory, the key of science. Which, quite honestly, could be almost anything. Uh, my current theory is it's some kind of power plant that's giving them electricity and she's going to find a way to tamper with it or something. I'm honestly not sure what she could have seen or how she's really going to you know, get the information back to Senku that she found it. Though I do absolutely adore Amaryllis' distraction here. I mean, 
She's rubbing up against the giant, and she's like, oh, your muscles are so big. You mind if I touch them? And yet somehow, without even making him jealous, she manages to flirt with five other guys at the same time. I mean, her skills are next level. I said last week I thought she could be a freaking assassin. I still believe that 100%. She is almost terrifying in her abilities. So yeah, then back in the cave with Senku and everybody else, they have a uh, mini gorilla. <laughs> a little motorized car, which is a good test subject for what they're planning. But Jen thinks may also serve a good purpose for communication. How exactly they're planning on sneaking this into the master's palace, I have no freaking clue, but I, I guess it could work. I mean, again, I think the dr I mean, I do think the drone would be better here, easier to pilot, easier to, you know, especially all those treetops, easier to get where it needs to go so they can pass messages back and forth, but in the meantime, I guess this is going to work. Yeah, so uh, next week is, I guess, hopefully we find out what it is Koaku saw and how it is the key to her victory, the key to them winning, the key is science, essentially. I'm very curious about that. Oh, I guess it could be the uh, Soyuz capsule, maybe. Oh, yeah. That's right, in the uh, flashback we saw, the Soyuz capsule was buried, or not buried, but put next to a tree. It could be, th this is the same tree, it just grew to super huge heights over time. They made their whole civilization around it. That could be interesting. But I'm not sure how that would help them win. It could just be with all the resources in there, if they can get them to Senku, then he can build something that'll save all of them somehow. Not sure. Oh, I guess... I guess it could make sense if that is the Soyuz capsule. If they can get Senku with a platinum, then he can use it to unpetrify everyone on the ship. And then they have a whole army to invade. And yeah, they're still going up against the petrification beam. If they go from, you know, multi-sided attack, then I think they wouldn't be able to, you know, petrify all of them without hurting their own forces too much. At least that's my theory. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. What did she see and how will it help them? Be sure to like and subscribe. Until next time. Peace.